today about appreciating the material world around us. First of all, everything material around us comes from planet Earth. Either nature that grows above the Earth or parts of nature that are within the Earth, minerals. And everything that we have today that we've created civilization with comes from that, either from above the Earth, it's trees, the wood, the food we gr grow, or you know, the cars we drive with petrol because th there's, there's um, oil in the Earth just as examples. We tend to forget that because when we use our smartphone, we don't think it comes from directly from, from the earth, from what we might call the dirt. It's gone through so many iterations and evolved so much that we have such a technological society in the West at least, um, but all over the world. But it all comes from the origin of planet earth. And so first of all, this is a wonder. And what we perceive as dirt is actually a source of, of gold in, in the metaphor of it, in wondrous capabilities combined with our ingenuity, our creativity, because we are the creative force on the planet. And so we have the capacity to imagine something and then bring it to life and manifest it. We have the capacity to take a tree and see a boat in it, or see a chair in it, or see fire coming out of it. We can see a bush or a plant and we can imagine how we can reproduce that and create a vegetable garden so that we can nourish ourselves and our communities. So there is so much to appreciate about our planet and then about the material world that comes out of it, whether it's organic material like in nature or something we've created organically or since then been able to evolve to produce technology, um, printing machines, language, books. I mean, it, it's endless, clothes, fashion. It's endless what we've been able to, to produce everything coming from nature, from planet Earth. Medicine, cures, flying to the moon, everything. It seems like it's so advanced, but it all comes from the same planet Earth. So instead of saying, I just wanna be spiritual, the material world is here today, gone tomorrow, has no value. It might serve me to eat and to sleep and to you know, do the minimal that I need to do, but it has no other value. Instead of saying that, we should use our capacities, our creative capacities, to go into the imaginal, our minds, our emotions, our spirit, and choose what we want to bring from that realm, from that dimension, and then express it in the material world. And so today's video is about how to, first of all, appreciate the material world from this perspective. And so I invite you today to practice appreciating everything material that is around you. Now, you can do it by putting your timer on your smartphone for every 15 minutes or 30 minutes or an hour and stop and think, okay, what's material around me now? So you drive in a car to work maybe, or you see clients in an office and you have two chairs. All of these are material things and it's all technology, even if it's what we would call today high technology or low technology, it's all part of technology. Human creativity, human capacity to imagine, observe, and invent something and bring it to material manifestation. So as you drive in your car, appreciate, appreciate your car for the value it brings you. Where does it take you? What does it allow you to do? Then think of the history of how it evolved 
and think of all the people who contributed their love and care and dedication and creativity and hard work, blood, sweat and tears to evolve our technology to the point that you can go to a store, buy a car and then be transported from a place you are at to a place you want to go. It allows you maybe to express your calling because it takes you where you need to go or it allows you to connect with a friend because you're going to meet them. Or it allows you as a parent to care for your children because you're going to go pick them up and, and, and take them to an activity that they have to do. And so look, it brings you connection and parenting and self-expression and so many other things depending on where you're going with your car. So there's the value that it brings you. You can appreciate that. There's the history of how it got here. If everything came from that same earth, either above the ground or under, then think about the evolution of transportation and appreciate all the people, all of humanity that came through to, get, to bring it to this point where you can drive your car and express your calling or connect with a friend or be a good parent. So a way to appreciate a material thing that you are experiencing and that you are using and that serves you is to say thank you. Thank you for supporting me in so and so. Thank you for allowing me to travel or to have my coffee cup stay warm as I'm driving in my car for an hour. You can begin to see how everything that you touch has a value, it serves you in a certain way. And so take a moment just to give it a blessing. Say thank you to it. Appreciate what it gives you and how it serves you and what you do, how that serves others. How you going to a meeting is going to serve down the road other people through the products and the services that you and your company might be developing. So you see it's this interdependent network or web. So there's so much to be appreciative of. And then just think of the materials that this object is created of. And think, how did these materials come to be? How did we evolve from this earth above or below the earth into this technological material? And then think of the people who created it. The people that at certain crossroads propelled the product forward. And then the people who were not innovative, but supported to make it come true, to create it, to manifest it. You know, like ants, just a colony of human beings who enjoyed putting time into what they were doing to bring food on the table to their families or take their kids through college or just have a home that they can afford. And so in, in suddenly in this one product that you're looking at, one thing, you can see all of humanity. So you can see how appreciating the material thing is actually appreciating everybody's spirit, everybody's creation, everybody's innovation, dedication, hard work, including yourself. Because when you decided to buy this car or when you decided to buy the specific book that you are reading, you're supporting somebody else's calling who wrote the book. So you can also appreciate yourself for paying attention, for appreciating other people's creation. So, to summarize, appreciate the material world. It is an expression of the spiritual reality, either the evolution of nature or the evolution of us, the human species, of humanity. And every product is a point of conversions of history, of people's spirit and people's 
qualities, capabilities, capacities, genius, creativity, love, and dedication for what they were doing. And then there's also your appreciation, your love, your care of people's creative expression in you purchasing it or experiencing it. So it doesn't go to waste in a sense, you're using it for the purpose for which it was created. So have fun with it. You could really put your timer on every 15 minutes and just stop and say, am I sitting on a chair? Am I driving in a car? Am I working on a computer? Am I writing on a piece of paper? Am I eating food? Am I using a plate? I'm wearing shoes. I'm wearing earrings. It's endless. Have fun with it. Enjoy it. And leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what realizations you've had once you start appreciating the material world around you. Blessings. <laughs>